Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing video of the new Future Card Buddy Fight release DBTO2 Raw Invincible Dragon. My name is James and I will be doing the unboxing today for this set. This is the most recent set that's come out. It came out 22nd of July and I will just be going through the cards. I won't be talking too much about the commons and uncommons. I'll say their names and maybe their world and stuff but won't be going through them too much. Mostly just get back to the to the rares in the set. Okay, so to start off, got a little advert about the manga. Uh, not telling us about a new set, but you do get a promo card, which is quite nice. And you also get a promo card. This, I think it's one of four. Uh, this promo card is Super Clash Ball Dragon. It's got a cool cost to pay three gauge and put a Sun Dragon monster from your fields into your gauge. When this card enters the field, you may put 5 Sun Dragon from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck in any order if you do destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. It's a pretty nice for a 2 cost with 10,000 attack and 5,000 defense and 3 critical. It's pretty good. So, I'll start going through the booster packs then. Okay, so to start off with we got Purgatory Knight's Pain Dagger Dragon. Valley Dragon Talgunt. Ooh, we got first pack we get a foil, a foil of a common. Uh, Dodan Chaos Pebbles. Then get Purgatory Knights Venom Spike Dragon. And the rare of the pack is Blazing Forge Dragon Svarog. He's a he's from Dragon World. Uh, size 3, 7,000 attack, 6,000 defense, and 2 critical. He's got a cool cost to pay 2 gauge, and then when this card enters the field, you may put the top 3 cards from your deck into your drop zone. If there is a Sun Dragon among them, destroy a monster on your opponent's center, in your opponent's center and deal 2 damage to your opponent. So, pretty good for just a little com, a single hour even. Then we have Corpse Black Skeleton Dragon Child Bodum, Chief of Steel Protect Co, Art of Body Replacement, which I believe is a reprint. The Uncommon is Dragon Knight Prince Edward the Black, and we get a Triple R Underling Bad Guy Moto. So he's a uh, just a one. Size 1, with 5,000 attack, 1 critical, and 1,000 defense. As a counter and an act, if you have a size 3 Dragon Chief Emperor on your field, you may discard this card from your hand and pay 1 life. If you do, draw a card from. Uh, draw a card in this battle, for this battle. Uh, one of your monsters in battle gets plus 5,000 attack and 5,000 defense. So, that's. Pretty cool. I believe there's a lot of Dragon Chief Emperors in this set, mostly to do with Jaeger, which is pretty nice. But I think it also works with Sega, if I believe, if I remember correctly. So then we got Caton Blazing Armors, Dragon Knight Carrasco, Black Savage Dragon Zerion, Underling Kicker Shun. And Revelation Tactician Keiganryu. He's a 6,000 attack, 3 critical, 5,000 defense, and a size 3. He's got a cool cost of pay 2 gauge and put the top card of your deck into this, this card's soul. Then, this size, then the size of your original size 1 Skull Warrior is re are reduced by 1, making them size 0, which is, means they can stay on the field when this guy's here. And he's got Soul Guard as well. So, we've got Mount Dragon Jean Julan, or Jean, I'm not sure. Uh, Dodan Chaos Potables again. Battle Deity, Deity Robo Sightless Bear. Underling Benny Shoujo. 
and a double R, 5th Omni Cavalry Dragon, Merak SD. This card cannot be called to the center. If, this, if you have another originally size 2 or greater armor dragon on the field, the size of this card is reduced by 2, and he's a size 2 normally, so he's 0. And then counter act, choose an armor dragon on the field for this turn, it gains plus 1000 attack and 1000 defense and penetrate, and you take 1 damage. And you may only uh, use it once per turn. But it's pretty nice, it basically turns into a size 0 with 5000 attack, only 1000 defense, but too critical, so not too bad. Then we have River Dragon Amelia, Dragon Wall of Distant Sea, Dragon Knight Jean, Patrol Ninja, Ninja Shokai, and Great Demonic Black Dragon Arc, Arch Enemy. Uh, 9000 attack, 7000 defense, and 2 critical with a size 3. Is the cool cost of pay to gauge and put a black dragon from your drop zone into this card's soul. When this card attacks, deal 1 damage to your opponent. If there are 10 or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, deal 2 damage to your opponent instead. And if there are 20, deal 4 damage to your opponent instead. And it also has soul guard. So it can keep itself alive for a bit longer. And that's a pretty buff guy. It seems that Darkness Dragon World have a lot of power behind them. But it takes a lot of setup as well. So black corruption exil exist, I guess. Uh, Reglis dragon Notre Dame. Dragon and strong. Dragonic thunder, rage of the thunder dragon. And divine dragon creation, a spell card, and a cool cost to, to pay two life and draw two cards. You may only cast Divine Dragon Creation once per turn. So, it's a bit of a steep cost, but I guess if you really need those cards. I haven't played Ancient Dragons before, so, I mean, sorry, Ancient World before, so I'm not sure how well they do against, uh, with their hand. So, Sunhammer, Sun, Sunhammer, Ballhammer, I'm sorry for that. Corpse Black Dragon, Chilled Bodum, again. Godly Speed of Dragons. Dragons all staked in. And Purgatory Knights Leader Demois so Demois? 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 Sword Dragon. Uh, 6,000 attack, 2 critical, 3,000 defense, size 2. And encounter an act during your turn, destroy another monster on your field with Purgatory Knights in the name. And if you do, you can stand this card back up. So you just kill a little little guy who's not really doing much and then get another big power. That's pretty nice. Chief of Steel, Protect Co. Art of Body Replacement. Soaring Dragon Spirits. Clear Serenity. And we get a Impact Monster. This is Edward the Black. Battle of Gargantua. Uh, he's 9,000 power and 7,000 defense with 3 critical and a size 3. He uses a core cost of pay 4 gauge and put a Dragon Knight monster from your field into your gauge. So a pretty steep cost. But when this unit enters the field, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. Then if you have 4 or more different Dragon Knights in your drop zone, draw 2 cards. So the cost is pretty worth it. You get to kill everything in gain more from it so it eventually it just becomes a pay three because you're putting one back into it anyway but it also loses one so uh i guess he's pretty cool he, i think he'll definitely be used in dragon knights we are immortal godly speed of dragons water calling sword suiru black dreaded motion gataclysm and a double R Nano Machine Ninja Tsukikage. Uh, 5,000 attack, 1,000 defense, size 1, 2 critical. And he has the ability Nano Machine Body Replacement. So if this card would be destroyed, you may discard a non monster from your hand. 
If you do, this card remains on the field. I think this is another reprint, actually, of a very pretty old card. So it's nice that they bring him back, seeing as he is the big ninja guy of the katana world. Uh, got an impact card, a wise move. Black Dragon Remade. Apprentice Chief Next Zero. Battle Deity Robo Silver Rabbit. And Jewel Seeger Tempest Enforcer. So he has 12,000 attack and 12,000 defense. Pretty buff. He's a size 3 with 3 critical. His cool cost is w when a Jewel Seeger Spartan on your field is destroyed, nullify the lifelink of Jewel Seeger Spartans and pay 3 cost. So he has the uh, keywords lifelink lose, so when he's destroyed, you lose the game. And he also has penetrate and triple attack. So he is buff, but one wrong move and you've lost the game. So it's a bit risky. Then water calling sword, Sui Ryu again. A wise move, yet again. Black Dragon Remade. Right on, Art of the Stored Electricity. And we have a Triple R Impact Monster. Gujinmaru Ghoul Deity Arts Dance of Yashigami. Sorry, it's quite hard to read with this gold on gold. So he's at 8,000 attack, 2 critical, and 2 defense, 2,000 defense. Uh, size 2. His cool cost is pay 2 guard pay to gauge and put a monster with Tsukikage in its name and a monster with Byakuya in its card name from the field and put this, them into this card. So, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, you may discard a ninja art from your hand. If you do, until the end of the turn, this unit gets double attack. I'm sorry, I keep on calling it unit. I'm so used to Vanguard. And he also has to counteract. When your opponent casts a spell, you may discard a ninja arts from your hand and pay to gauge. If you do, nullify the spell cost spell cast by your opponent and deal two damage to your opponent. So he's a bit tougher, a bit stronger than Tsukikage, but his nullifying skill costs a bit more. But you also deal damage, so could be deemed as worth it. Very nice card, though. So, uh, Demon Way uh, Kasu Mienran, yeah. Dragon Bow Dragon Spirit. Black Cloth Blade, Blade Beast of Exorcism, Juzumaru Tsune Tsugi, Tsugu even, and Byaku, Byakuya, uh, Shiro Yashio, Shiro Mode. So, 5,000 attack, 1 critical, 1,000 defense, size 1 monster. At the end of the battle, that this card attacks, you may, if you have a card with Tsukikage Tsuki in its name, on the field, or in the soul of a monster on your field. For, for this turn, this card gets double attack, and if, you, if this card is in your soul, in the soul of a card on the field, that card can attack your opponent even if there is a monster in your opponent's center. So, it's pretty nasty, and that is the one that goes with uh, Goji Mario. So yeah, he's going to go into the soul, then Goji Maru can just attack from the center into the center. Pretty nasty. Uh, Blood Dragon Ceremony, Blood Operate, Bloody Operate. Underling Tricky Mbaku, Ninja Art Snake Gaze, Dragonic Exchange, and Great Ocean High King Jewel Jaeger. So size 3, has 15,000 attack, 3 critical, and 5,000 defense. He's got a cool cost of pay 3 gauge and put this card on, on the top of a size 3 uh, Dragon Chief Emperor without soul and put 3 Dragon Chief Emperors from your drop zone into this card soul. And as you can see, a soul guard as well, so he's going to be there for a while. And at the beginning of your attack phase, you may call a size 1 or less Dragon Chief Emperor from your dro drop zone on an open area by paying its cool cost. And he's got Penetrate and Lifelink 4, as well as the Soul Guard I talked about earlier. So very big. He's gonna... It's 
I believe he's the ace of the um, Jaeger decks, and I can see why. It's got crazy strong. So then we got Geothermal Dragon, Blade of Lament, Sad Grieve, Fabricated Scar, Blade Beast Formation, Shape of the Elite, and Black Demon Swordsman Vader. He's got 4,000 attack, 2 critical, and 2,000 defense, as well as a size 2 monster. Cool cost is pay 1 gauge. When this card enters the field, you may, you may call a size 1 or less black dragon from your drop zone by paying its cool cost. And this also gets move. It's pretty nice. Is this what I think it is? It is. I, uh, this is a secret pack. So there's a chance you can get a, I believe it's either a buddy rare or a secret pack. The secret pack has five special cards in it. and But the buddy rare is also a good thing to get. So this is the o Ocean Chief Spirit. I'll go through all these because they're all special in some way. Uh, he's a counter spell uh, and a stud monster with Jewel Jaeger in its name. Oh, sorry, Standard Monster with Jewel Jaeger, its name, on the field. Uh, I'll put these in a separate... I'll put these right at the front, actually. Uh, Legend of the Colossal Ocean, another spell. You may only pay this card if you have a monster with Jewel Jaeger in its card name. Choose and use one of the following two. Put a card from your drop zone into your soul of a monster on the field. And also counter, put a soul from the card on the field into the drop zone. Then we get the uh, Ancient World flag with lots of writing all over it. Uh, Break the Waves, Invincible Dragon, We Are the Chief of the Ocean, and Luminize, Dragon Emperor of the Colossal Ocean. Then we get... Oh god, this is hard to read with the gold writing. Uh, Stout Wrist, Unmatched Chief, Jewel Jaeger, Revolted. So he's got 20,000 attack, 2 critical, and 3,000 defense, as well as being a size 3 monster. He has the cool cost of pay 3 gauge and put the top card of your... Wait, put the top card... Put this card on top of a monster without a soul, I'm sorry about that. With Jewel Jaeger in its card name, and put 8 Dragon Chief Emperors from your drop zone, and put it into your soul. And like before, this has soul guard. So maybe this is the um, ace, I may have got the mixed up, I'm sorry. If this card is in your center, you cannot be dealt damage by effects from your opponent's cards. So he's only got 3,000 defense, but with 8 soul and soul guard, it's not going to be a problem, really. He's also got double attack with 20,000. And, <coughs> excuse me, he's got lifelink and you lose if he, if he dies. So, like before, the, um, these ancient worlds are a bit risky, but it's worth it a lot of the time. And we also get the size 3 Martial Arts Chief Jewel Jaeger. 10,000 attack, 2 critical, 5,000 defense. It's the cool cost is pay 2 gauge and put the top 2 cards from this, your drop zone into your, this card's soul. And his counter is act. During this card's battle, you may discard a Dragon Chief Emperor from your hand. If you do, for this battle, this card gets plus 10,000 defense. So he's going to be able to protect himself and he also has Soul Guard. So it's very good if you're <laughs> if you have Ancient World, then this secret pack is very strong. Um, but if you don't use Ancient World, there's also a chance of getting the Buddy Rares, which come in several worlds, including Ball Dragon and I believe there's also Katana World. Maybe I can't exactly remember. But Apprentice Underling Cutter Sen, Gale Conflagra Conflagration, Amakujaku. Shining Board Dragon, Godly Speed Natsubame, and the single art is a spell. He is it's Million Edge. Uh, the core cost is pay one life. Put the top two cards from each fighter's deck into their owner's drop zone. Then draw a card. You may only cast Million Edge once per turn. So pretty powerful spell. On to the next pack. Okay. So, 
We have Black Cloth Blade again. Dragon from the Origin. Ooh, a foil of an uncommon. A uh, Schloss Dragon Vanstein. Black Twin Head Scav. And low rank ninja Mikazuki Maru. So he's got 5000 attack, 1 critical, and 1 defense. Size 1 is the ability group training when this card enters the field. If you have another size 1 ninja on your field, draw one card. Group training only activates once per turn. Then, Solemn Zogis Senen, Black Spotted, Spotted Dragon, Black Dot, really love the artwork on that one, done by Lack. Black Flame Bullet, Martial Arts Dragon Emperor Jewel Seeger, Graveyard of Demonic Swords Grey Bard, which is a, gray, uh, a size 3 monster, uh, 7000 attack, 2 critical, 7000 defense, and cool cost of pay 2 cage, when this card enters the field, destroy a monster on your opponent's field, if you do, deal damage to your opponent equal to the size of that destroyed monster. Pretty nasty. But, his attack and defense aren't too great, so you still have him as a little bit of support. Struggling to open this pack. Okay. Soaring Dragon Spirits. We are immortal. Godly Speed of Dragons. Schloss Dragon Vanstein. Death Gauge Timer. Spell card. Cast cost. Put the top five cards from your deck into this card's soul. And it's set. And at the beginning of your attack phase, put, this, put a soul from this card into your gauge. At the end of the turn, if there is if there are no cards in this card's soul, put this card into the drop zone and all cards from each pl player's gauge into the drop zone. Uh, so you just, it's a nice little, t well, as the name says, it's a nice little timer. You keep on using your gauge until that point when you can just destroy your opponent's gauge. So Lake Dragon Testaria. Air Slash Ninja Ryuse. Sintamani Stone. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. Sword Skill Z Zanta Zante Setsu. Setsu. Setetsu. Yeah. And double R is Ocean Emperor's Anchor Wild Waves. It's 3000 attack and only one critical. But an equip cost of pay one gauge and put the top card of your deck into your drop zone. This card can attack even if there is a monster in your center. And counter act, you may pay one gauge and pay one life. If you do, put this card from your field into the soul of a Dragon Chief Emperor monster on the field. And if this card is in the soul of a Dragon Chief Emperor monster, that monster gains penetrate. So that's very nice considering the Jaegers we've seen and how they they're pretty big souls anyway, so even if it does attack, get attacked, you don't have to get rid of that card. So that's pretty cool. So, Black Swamp Fen. River Dragon Amal Amlia. Mm -hmm. Dragon Wall of Distant Sea. Dragon Knight Seki Shusa. Sh Shusa. And Dragon Fire Dragon's Shield. It's a spell. And you may cast this you may only cast this if you do not have a monster in your center. Its cast cost is put top three cards from your deck into your drop zone and encounter this card. The next time damage would be dealt to you this turn, it is reduced to zero. And Dragon Knight Shan. Pokotary Knight's Pain Dagger Dragon, Clear Serenity, Wrath Trigger, and Chief of Iron, uh, Chief of Steel Iron Tetsu. 4,000 attack, 3 critical, 3,000 defense. Size 2. 
Counter act during an attack on your opponent's turn. If you have a size 3 Dragon Chief Emperor on the field, you may discard a card from your hand and pay 1 gauge. If you do, nullify the attack and you gain 1 life. And it's got lifelink 1, so that's pretty worth it. I think that's a very good card. So it takes a bit of setup to have him and a size 3 Dragon Chief Emperor on the field. I see any problem. So, Valley Dragon Talgant. Caton Blazing Armors. Dragon Knight Carrasco. Five Heavenly Sword Onimaru. And Death Wizard Dragon. Size 2, 3000 attack, 3000 defense, 2 critical. When this card enters the field, you put the top two cards from your deck into your gauge and you take one damage. Using your life as a nice little resource. So, Dragon and Strong. Sun Hammer, Bold Hammer. Fire Dragon Shield. Ah, it's a rare foil this time. Uh, Blade Beast of Guillotine, Odin Tamitsuyo. Tamitsuyo. Ooh, and Snake Princess Setsuna. I really like the art for this card. 3000 attack, 1000 defense, 1 critical, and a size 1 monster. When this card enters the field, you may pay 1 gauge. If you do, call a size 1 or less Skull Warrior from your drop zone by paying its cool cost. And at the end of the turn, destroy this card. So. It's pretty interesting. Get to call your little. I'm not sure how many great little size ones Skull Warriors have. I thought they were mostly quite big guys, but I could be wrong. I'm quite new to Buddy Fight, really. But Black Savage Dragon Sirion. Mount Dragon Jean Julon. Dodan Chaos Pebbles. Jet Black Wind. And an impact monster, size 1, Yami Gitsune Whitefire Shigai Soshi. He's got 6,000 attack, 3,000 defense, and 2 critical. Cool cost, pay 2 gauge, and destroy a Skull Warrior monster on your field. When this card enters the field during the final phase, stand a Skull Warrior on your field, and this turn that card can attack during your final phase. Ooh, pretty good. And 2 darkness. When your skill war when your skull warrior deals damage to your opponent, you may put this that card into the drop zone if you do draw a card. It's a very nice little one size one monster. I like it a lot. And be nice if I could open this properly. So got another side of spare. Exist. Notre Dame. Apprentice Underling Helper Say and Transportation Air Lane. Spell card and it's set. And act if you have a Dragon Knight and monster on your field, put a card from your hand into your gauge. If you do, draw a card. You may only pay this ability once per turn. And you may set one Transportation Air Lane on your field. Only one at a time. So, Cutter Sun, Amaku Jaku, Shining Boar Dragon, Jewel Seeger Spartan, and Great Battle DLT Robo Emperor Dragon. So, he's a size 3 monster, 6000 attack, 6000 defense, 3 critical. Cool cost to pay 1 gauge. If you are Ride, if you are right on this card, you cannot call monsters other than Battle Robo Deities. Be oh, sorry, Battle Deity Robos. When another Battle Deity Robo enters your field, destroy a monster on your opponent's field and ride pay two and pay two life. Black Cloth Blade. Dragon from the Origin. Solum Zoge Senen, Blade Beast of Phantasm, Phantasm, Onimaru Kunitsune, Suna? Yeah. And a size 2 impact monster, Ball Dragon Tempest Ball Steel Sword. 8000 attack, 2 critical, and 5000 defense. 
Cool cost P2 gauge and put a Sun Dragon monster from your field into your drop zone. When this unit attacks, if you have a if you have five or more Sun Dragon in your drop zone, for this turn this card gets double attack. Pretty tasty. And I think we're on yes, the second to last who's the back of this box. Ah, it's my favorite artwork of the set. Uh, black dot, black flame bullet, lake dragon. Tastaria, Dragon Knight Bertrand, uh, oh, no, no. Uh, an Elite Sword Odenta. 7000 attack, 2 critical. Equip cost is pay 1 gauge and pay 1 life. This card, th this card on the field cannot be destroyed by effects of your opponent's cards. Pretty nice. And the last one is. Let's see. Hoping for. Something big, but <laughs> considering we've got the secret pack and three triples, I doubt it. Um, but S slash Ninja Rise. Uh, this one again, I can't pronounce properly. Black Swap Swamp Fen. Total Devastate Chief Broken Guy. And lastly, oh, got a grade one. Uh, sorry, not grade one. Size one monster, 4,000 attack, zero critical, and 5,000 defense. Fortune Dragon for Bulka. As an act, if you have a size 3 monster on the field, you may discard this card from your hand. If you do, put the top two cards from your deck into your gauge and as lifelink one. So, I guess it'd be a nice little shield at least with the 5000 defense. Um, and apart from that, I believe this is a reprint as well. I kind of recognize the artwork, but it's a very cute card. So, that is everything from Invincible Dragon. Got Pretty nice cards. We've got th three triple R's, all from different worlds. We got Ancient World, uh, Katana World, and Shadow Dragon World. Oh, Darkness Dragon World, even. Uh, then we got a uh, secret pack as well for all Ancient World stuff, all to do with Jaeger. And only. I'm sure we got more. Than, oh, three foils, one of each rarity that you can get in foil, so single R, uncommon common and a lot of other stuff <laughs> basically there's a quite a nice two katana world two katana world uh, double r's ancient world darkness dragon world and dragon world so that's pretty cool just remember that all the cards that you've seen today can be bought and sold on bigorbitcards.co.uk remember to like and subscribe and if you have any questions about the cards in this set or the set in general feel free to ask uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!